Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode number 68 of the StreamYard Live Town Hall. My name is Gage, and I'm here with Dan, of course. Dan, how are you doing? Excellent. How are you doing? I'm doing good. It's been an all right. It's been an all right, all right week. I'm excited. We have a very special uh, guest tonight that we'll be bringing on in just a, a second here. Isabel from uh, Metricool, which is an awesome, uh, awesome SaaS tool for for analytics, and she'll be telling us about that. It's very, uh, very late uh, for her. She's in uh, in Spain, so we'll be chatting with her in just a second. For for anyone new here, we do these live streams every single week at 6 p.m. Pacific on Sundays to make sure we're staying in tune with you guys and using our own tool and uh, answering all all your questions. And then we always remind you of what our three pillars are, which are ease of use, stability, and professional streams. So if you're about those three things, StreamYard is the tool for you. Let's see who's uh, joining us in the, the comments tonight. There's a lot of you here. Thanks for, thanks for spending your Sunday evening with us. Hey, George, Dana, all the, uh, all the usual folks. So uh, without fur further ado, let's bring uh, Isab Isabel on from uh, Metricool. Hey, Hi. Isabel. Hey, nice to have you here. How are you doing? Fine. <laughs> 3, 3 a.m. in the morning, but fine. Here is yes. Monday. Yes, in Spain it is. Yeah, it's a different day and a, and a, and a different time. 3 a.m. in the uh, in the morning. Did you drink a bunch of a uh, bunch of coffee to, to stay up? Yeah, yeah, too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, uh, Isabel, why don't, you, why don't we start by just telling us a little bit about yourself and uh, what Metricool is exactly? Okay. Uh, well, about me, um, I have been working as an SEO. I don't know if you say SEO or CEO. SEO, um, yeah. SEO copywriting consultant for seven years. And also, I, um, I, I was, um, I have been like a le lecture teacher of copywriting and SEO in universities and, and also business school here in Spain. And I had crossed path with the founders of Metrico, Pampa and Laura, at several marketing conferences that we gave talks. And one of these occasions, they proposed that I join um, the project as a head of marketing and SEO, and also to develop the, the marketing strategy. And this was four years ago. So I was attracted by their project uh, from the beginning, especially because it involved starting from scratch. So that was great. And also because of the international trajectory and Metricool is a SaaS tool. And for me, it was a challenge. So I learned a lot about user acquisition, internationalization, product and metrics for startups like churn and things like that, that I didn't have any idea about that. So um, uh, it's a wonderful challenge. And today we have more than 500 key users in over 120 countries. So it's amazing and I never stop learning. So that's a little bit of my background. That's and fantastic, yeah, it's cool. So you actually uh, met the team at a conference and that's how you got hired? Sorry? You met you met at a conference, like that's how the job happened. Yeah, you met yeah, yeah that's awesome. Congress. Yeah, the, the same that I met you in a Congress of the social media marketing world. Yeah, that's so, how we met social media marketing world. The Metricool had, uh, had a booth. It was awesome meeting uh, meeting you and your team. It was a uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm gonna. I was planning on going to lots of conferences, and obviously that's no longer uh, an option for the uh, immediate future. But yeah, that's super cool. I didn't know that, that that's how you. Yeah. You spoke about Spain also to the Sea on the Beach Congress, but. Oh yeah, the conference in Spain. That would have been that would have been fantastic. Would have been able to get a bit of sun and be a bit less pale than I. Uh, than I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, internationalization. That's uh, that's an important skill set. That's something Dan and I have been. Uh, thinking about recently just because of all the new people coming from places like Spain and, and Italy. Uh, but yeah, how about, how about Metricool? What exactly uh, is Metricool and how can, how do you think live streamers would be able to, to use the tool? Um, well, I, I can say a lot of things about Metricool, so maybe you're going to get bored, <laughs> but Metricool, Metricool was launched in 2016. Okay. Um, and with the idea of helping all types of users, mm -hmm. uh, also streamers, <laughs> Um, willing to improve their digital experience and achieve their marketing goals uh, from marketing professionals, social media, and local business, and also streamers. So Metricool is an all-in-one online platform that lets you analyze and grow your digital presence, and as well as generate custom reports. That is one of our best features. 
And Metricool offers ET analytics with very intuitive and interactive graphs where you can get priceless insight about the growth of your community and the impact of your publications on social media. And it also unifies all the data from social media, website, and online advertisement platforms. So you can manage, plan, and analyze Facebook pages, uh, Facebook groups, uh, Facebook ads, LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn <laughs> Instagram professional accounts, uh, Twitter, Google My Business, uh, Google Ads, plus uh, your website and, and blog. And also, and now I'm going to tell in a scoop, um, this quarter we are going to include uh, YouTube and Twitch. So that it's going to be great for streamers too. Awesome. We got the, the scoop, YouTube and, uh, yeah. YouTube and Twitch. So and it'll be similar, similar to the feature set you have for the other platforms where you can sort of track your growth and whatnot on, on YouTube exactly. and Twitch. Exactly. And also you can check your competitors. That it's going to be great because you can check the strategy of your competitors and what they are doing. And, and also I think that it, Metricool and streamers is a good match because um, streamers use the platforms to make the, the streams, and, but also they can use another channels like uh, Instagram or LinkedIn um, to get more people or create a community. So they can use Metricool uh, to know the hot hours. I don't know if you say the hot hours. It's when your audience is connected. So, and also you can drive traffic from Instagram using the link in bio from Metricool um, to drive traffic to, to your videos. So yeah, yeah it's, it's super, I, I, I need, it's, it's obviously got a ton of features. I checked it out a bit and I was super impressed with like the number, the number of tools built, built into it. I need to spend uh, more time with it, but I know, um, especially for our user base, uh, tr tracking how they're doing on particular platforms and growth in general, I know is super important to them. And um, unlike maybe sort of certain types of streams where it's like like gaming type of streams where the focus is on a particular channel. I know a lot of our user base likes going to multiple. So being able to compare how you're doing on one versus the other and track that stuff is is super useful. So yeah. I definitely think for the people watching, uh, take a look at it because it has some it has some really interesting uh, aspects to it. And then like you said too, I think one one thing that people underestimate is how valuable it is to not just stream is they think is sometimes people think like, oh, the way to grow is to just stream and stream and stream. But oftentimes the biggest wins you'll have it, to grow your stream is by doing marketing outside of streaming. Like you said, like how make Instagram posts that are related to your stream and, and, and attract new eyes uh, that way. So that's, that's a great tip exactly. there. Uh, the next uh, question I had for you was what's your very favorite uh, feature of, of Metricool? Well, uh, everything, everything is awesome in <laughs> Metrico. But um, here my heart is divided in two, um, in custom reports and also competitor analysis. Because um, the reports are awesome. They have a cool and professional design and can be fully uh, custom and you can download just with one click. So that saves a lot of time and you can keep your, your reports just to know how your um, social uh, networks are growing, or I don't know, maybe if you work with uh, clients, also you can show those reports. And also the competitor analysis, it's great, because um, it's to, to observe the most relevant data and to understand how your competitors are performing and their impact on social media. So this information will help you uh, get a good general idea of how your strategy is doing and which areas you need to be improved and also to leave your competitors behind, no? <laughs> and this feature is available for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also it's going to be available for YouTube and Twitch. So I think it could be great also for streamers but for me are my favorite ones. Yeah. Yeah. The competitive stuff is interesting. I'd imagine it's probably useful to just for not necessarily just competitive stuff, but just to keep tabs on like who you might potentially be collaborating with as well. If you are like a, someone who's making like YouTube videos, I don't know what the perspective is. Maybe they see other YouTubers as like, that's my fierce uh, competitor. But I imagine some people just want to keep tabs on who's making similar uh, content and whatnot. But yeah, that's, that's a super cool uh, feature. Uh, the next question I had is uh, sort of 
not necessarily Metricool related, but obviously everyone these days is talking about being stuck at home and stuff. So I'm curious, like how you're dealing with it, what kind of stuff you're you're doing now that you're you're trapped indoors, are you playing remote board games with people or like what, how are you how are you staying uh, entertained? Well, um, I, here in Spain, it was, I don't know if you hit the news, but here in Spain, it was really, really awful, all the news about COVID. Um, but we are, I mean, I'm watching streamers now. I, I, I don't used to, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. but now I discovered Twitch and it's great. It's not only video gamers playing. So, um, but for us, I mean, uh, with Metricool, I think we are incredibly lucky for working in the digital sector because I think it's one of the, of the least affected sectors by COVID, um, at least in Spain. But I think it's worldwide, no? Digital yeah, it's sector, definitely worldwide. No? So, and uh, working remotely for me hasn't been, <coughs> sorry, a big deal because since I was already doing it, but for the rest of the team, we are 17 in the team. Um, we have to adjust um, to the new circumstances and get used um, to new ways of communicating, uh, which is always a challenge, you no? Know, because we are 17. So Slack is on fire uh, all yeah. day long. <laughs> um, but it's OK. It's OK. And everything works smoothly after six weeks confinement. See, I don't know. Like, you say confined? Confinement. Conf confinement, yeah. Confinement. Sorry, I tried to do my best. No, you're doing amazing. Yeah, you're doing fantastic. Yeah. No um, worries at all. I don't know, but at business level, Metricool was growing steadily uh, before this crash or this crisis. Um, and now we are stable. Uh, since March, we are stable. Um, and that is because we have digital uh, users that still use Metricool and buy Metricool, uh, but we have another kind of client too, uh, ho hospitality sector and travel sector. And, and at the moment, everything is slow. With, yeah, with no one's traveling yet. Everything is closed in Spain. I mean, uh, we don't have pubs or bars open. It's just supermarkets and, and, and that's it. So... So, Everyone's drinking alone these days. Yeah. 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 Um, it's still working hard. And the most important, we are healthy. So, yeah, that's that's fantastic. But yeah, if uh, if any of you guys have any questions about Metricool for Isabel, let us know in the, the comments. Otherwise, we'll probably uh, let her get back to us. Uh, Otherwise, I'm going to go to <laughs> pretty no, sleep okay. soon. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. um, one thing I was curious about uh, too, Isabel, is um, now that you guys have transitioned to working like remotely because you have to. Um, is it something like, uh, is, is there any mind, mindset of like, oh, this is actually going quite well. Maybe we won't return to the office. Maybe we'll continue working remotely. Or is, are people thinking like, no, we'll definitely be returning to the, to the office. I'm curious what your thoughts are on that. We are divided. I think that it's one part of the team uh, that prefer to work remotely. Also, because in Madrid, you, uh, you lose a lot of time um, traveling to the office. But it's true that we have so many meetings, something that when you are at the office, maybe you PC, then you talk to someone and, and it's done. Now it's like, okay, uh, write in Asana. So uh, where did you put that in Slack? So, but but it's okay. I think that now um, after six weeks, uh, we are making better, so. Gotcha. But I prefer work remotely. For me, it's better. It looks like you guys already have quite a few fans in the chat that are uh, familiar with you. Sebastian, thanks for the, the comment. He's a fan of uh, Metricool. Let's see if we have any other questions here. Seems like most people are just talking about how awesome it is. So might uh, you may, might not have too many questions. Someone was sad they missed the Metricool deal on AppSumo. What else do we have? Uh, yeah, we make a collaboration with AppSumo. And, yeah. and we get a lot of uh, users from AppSumo. Cool. Oh, here we got one here from Anderson. Uh, how accurate are the Metricool analytics for watch time of videos on LinkedIn and other platforms? Is that an available metric, Isabel, the, the watch time for, for videos? Yeah, yeah, it is available. And also um, in LinkedIn, um, uh, you can schedule your personal profile and um, uh, business profile. So that's something new. Because a lot of people, there are people that use their personal profiles uh, on LinkedIn to share information and posts. So I think that's great. 
and YouTube is coming, and of course we are going to measure that. Gotcha. Awesome. So it looks would like we've covered. Or would you say, Dan? I was going to say, would it also work for LinkedIn Live? I would guess so, right? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. But maybe yeah. on the list. We try. We we try to ask to to get LinkedIn Live. I think that is the question of the million. But they don't want us. It's <laughs> difficult. It's difficult to get uh, uh, LinkedIn yeah. Live in Spain at least. <laughs> I think it's difficult in general, but yeah, keep keep applying. Hopefully, they'll uh, they'll they'll uh, accept the latest application. But I think we've covered uh, most of the questions here. Thank you so much uh, for joining us, Isabel. This was awesome to uh, learn more about Metricool. And you have a code for us, right? So for anyone that yeah. wants to try out uh, Metricool and, and be able to use all the premium features for free, which you definitely should. It's a crazy powerful. And if you're serious about um, like growing your various social media channels and learning about what other people are doing, it's definitely something you should check out. We'll include. Um, a link to it as well, but it's a fairly easy domain name, just metricool.com, but we'll, we'll include the link. And then, yeah, could you tell us how we uh, how, how people can get a trial, Isabel? Yeah, it's just we create a special code for your audience and it's StreamYard. So, um, <laughs> so it's easy to remember and they have 45 days free in any premium account. But also Metricool, it's a, it has a premium uh, version, so, but they can use it in any plan. So. Enjoy. All right, fantastic. Yeah, so yeah, you guys can just enter the code StreamYard when you when you sign up for it, and we'll share a link for you as well. It'll just be metricool uh, dot com. But thank you so much for hanging out us out with out with us this late, uh, Isabel. I'll let you get back to sleep, and then hopefully you guys can uh, get revenge on me by uh, having me yeah, on yeah. sometime at three will, or four in the morning or something. So, <laughs> okay, Isabel. Good Take night. care, guys. Bye. See ya. All right, awesome. Yeah, hopefully that was uh, useful for you guys. It is an awesome tool, Metricool. I've been playing around with it to uh, for for our own Instagram and and other social channels. But uh, let's check out some of your questions. It looks like you guys have a ton of comments here. Cool. Yeah, and it's exciting. They're adding YouTube and Twitch. Like that's. Yeah, and there's not too many. Like there's they're a very unique tool in that like there's lots of stuff out there that's sort of like for scheduling to various social media channels. But there's not too many that have like super deep analytics like they all have some analytics but when i was checking it out it looked pretty uh pretty unique sweet hey marion thanks for hanging out with us good evening evening michael uh ghana says will you be allowing more than six participants that's definitely a popular uh request and comes up a lot at some point at some point we will likely uh raise that up hey gizzard thanks for joining us Gabe is doing his very first live stream Tuesday morning. Good luck. Let's let people uh, let us know the link. Maybe we can give you a shout out. People can uh, join you for your for your very first one. And actually, in his picture, it looks like he's skydiving. That'd be that would be a cool live stream if you can pull it off. Yeah, probably be kind of short. How long does it take to do a skydive? Thirty seconds, a minute. Well, it'd be a cool minute though. Yeah. Yeah, parachute for that's true. Parachute last minute. Patricia, thanks for hanging out. The adventure of. Gonzo says, Ola, Isabel. Let's see here. Jose, how's it going? Edward says, I cannot figure out how to minimize myself and make the guest uh, larger. Edward, if you, uh, if you, the tiles at the bottom where your guest is, there's this little icon in the top left that says a uh, solo layout when you hover over it. And that's how you can, so for example, Dan's full screened uh, now. So that's, that's an option for you. Yeah, if you guys have any questions for us or topics you want to cover, just let us know in the chat and we will uh, we'll get to them. Uh, Cape Cod Home says, when I'm hosting a live, how can I switch and use my iPhone for a virtual house tour while live? Yeah, so the uh, easiest way to do that right now would be to just join as a guest yourself on the phone. So you would just, the same invite link you send out to your guests, you'd send to uh, your phone or yourself essentially over email and then just in, join that link on your phone. You'll want to make sure you're logged. You, you can't be logged into StreamYard on your phone or else it'll think you're the, the host. But if you're logged out of StreamYard, it'll work fine. Yeah, and we know that's not perfect. We're working on it, but that it does work. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely on our radar to improve the experience there. El Michelle says, is there a way to do like a ticker on the bottom of the StreamYard feed? <laughs> yes, there absolutely is. Let me. Uh, I'll make a ticker really quick so you can see it. But yeah, when you make a banner, there's an option. There's a checkbox to uh, turn things into a ticker. So you can see how it looks there. Hey, Karinder, thanks for joining us. 
fundraising saying hello from Dublin, Ireland. Awesome. It's got to be pretty late as well. Yeah, I would imagine. Joe says, thank you, StreamYard, for helping us raise over $12,000 for child food pro programs during our Rock Aid concert on Friday. You guys are awesome. You're awesome. That's fantastic. Thanks so much for uh, sharing that. I'm glad you are able to uh, uh, to raise that much money. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Tim Judge says, how about a tab to use as the green screen background? I'm not sure. Oh, it's so like so screen share basically. So you could screen share a green screen background. That's interesting uh, idea. I never actually thought of that. Um, yeah, you never know. Maybe at some point. Physically possible. Yeah. Might be hard on the computer a little bit, but unless tab is an acronym, it was capitalized. <laughs> we're, and we're totally misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, low key says, please add a volume slider for easy person on your panel. Yes, um, we definitely would like to improve things. We're getting lots of musicians using StreamYard, and I know that they would expect, like options like that are in high demand. So um, that's a high priority for us that we're we're looking into very soon, probably within the next few weeks. You'll be seeing more more audio options. Uh, Matt says, "Thank you, StreamYard, for allowing us to host a virtual NFL draft party. Awesome! That's a cool. That's a very cool use case." Right on. Dave, guess big, host small, please. Yes, it's uh, it's it's in the works. Hey, Marlo, thanks for joining. Um, I missed it. Oh, here, David's asking about LinkedIn comments. I don't have a date for you, David, but I know it's in uh, LinkedIn's plans, and as soon as it's uh, it's available over their API, we will we will add it. Yeah, the second they add it, we'll have it for you. Oneda says hello from Puerto Rico. Hello from BC, Canada. Nice to have you here. That's so one thing we wanted to touch on is um, uh, there's a, we're working on a fix for Safari that should be rolling out soon. There was a, um, a small bug for people on iPhones where there's a small chance where you, they could lose audio essentially, and that should be uh, fully resolved. We'll be pushing a fix out for that uh, tonight. So that should be nice for people that uh, is particularly older models of phones we're having. Um, more issues so that should that should hopefully help help you guys out anything to add there dan yeah it's only a rare thing it's like it, but it, but it happens i know ken walls actually mentioned it i think he's run into it once or twice like on the stream he was talking about it. a few others have had it but yeah basically like one guest can't hear somebody and it is a safari limitation but we've been working with them and we found a way that we think should fully prevent it so yeah it's a nice little oh. fix right because it's kind of Looks like at least someone here ran into it. Yes, so it, that that should be resolved soon, Matt. It can't be fixed by just refreshing the page, but that's obviously not a great solution. Yeah. Uh, yeah Tom, the limitations we have of being in the browser, right? Is we're sort of at the mercy of some of the browsers, but like in this case with Safari, we're able to get in contact with them, work with them, and kind of like figure figure something out. So. Uh, Jamie says, I notice I have to keep a Facebook live stream on another screen because I noticed that not all the comments are showing up in the StreamYard comments. So Jamie, you'll want to check your privacy settings for, that's the most common one I see is people will, will be streaming to a profile and have it set to friends only. And if it's friends only, we're not able to access uh, the comments. So just verify that you have everything set to, to public and you should get all the comments. Um, if not, just message us on, on Messenger and uh, we can help you out. Casey says, thank you for the Safari fix. Yes, absolutely. Tim says, yes, a tab, Google Slides. Okay, we did understand it uh, correctly. Thanks, Tim. Got it. Uh, Tom says, how hard is it to get on LinkedIn once you complete the application? I don't know for sure. Um, I know that the main things they look for is that you're active, like make sure you're active on LinkedIn and posting useful and good content as well as actively streaming um, elsewhere and creating good content and that will greatly improve your odds. I don't know what the exact, I don't know how the formula exactly plays out, but create good content and apply and you'll be set up for good shot. Yeah, and people are getting approved. So it's, it isn't like this type of thing where, you know, oh, nobody's getting through. Like people do get through. So yeah, definitely apply, keep posting good content, like should hopefully get approved. We obviously, we don't actually have a say in it, but they are approving people, so. 
Cammy, Cammy's asking if we think uh, think comments will ever open up for it. Yes, I do think it will open up. I uh, hopefully soon, but I do think I'm quite sure it will eventually open up. Yeah. Uh, Dave says, is it possible to create folders in the banner and brand section where elements can be saved, stored, and easily organized? Yes, absolutely. So if you just click um, the banner section, um, you're most likely already in a folder. And uh, you'll see you'll, at, the, at the top of the banner section, you'll see a name. So like mine says Gage V, since that just happens to be the name of uh, this particular folder I'm in. But there's this little arrow. And if you click that, it'll back out. And, you can, and you'll see a, a list of your current folders. And you can create... Uh, new ones and switch between them. And yeah, it's useful if, for example, you just have a set of banners that you regularly use, but um, you maybe you have two separate sets and you want to organize them that way. You can, there's all kinds of reasons why you might want to have multiple sets, but you can do that. Same with brands. I know that's really popular is someone will, um, often if they're remote producing shows, they'll, they'll have a particular set of creative assets that are for one stream and a particular set that are for another. And you can create multiple brands and, and switch between them. Said says, love from Malaysia. Yes, there's been lots of new people from Malaysia. Thanks for hanging out with us and joining the uh, the stream. Cool. Hey, Nancy, nice to see you here. Dana's saying thanks to Isabel. Yeah, definitely thanks to Isabel. It's been a great sport for joining us uh, at 3 a.m. I, I would have definitely had uh, trouble getting on. Uh, Maurice says, can I have a moder moderator while I'm I'm live? Uh, yep. The number one thing we recommend for that is to just have a moderator on each platform you go live to. So on Facebook, on your on a Facebook page, I'd have a couple admins on your Facebook page that are able to help you manage that. Same with YouTube. I'd have a few moderators on your YouTube channel that can help you regulate the the chat and the equivalents for the the various other platforms. Just because it's it's tough to manage it on your own, especially when you're focused on just trying to do a stream. If you're if you've got some problematic people causing you issues, you want to have. Um, people on the platform that can help you out so you can just focus on your content. But if you are a solo operation on each comment, there's these um, three dots that you can click and that allows you to delete the comment or block the particular person. So you do have some options. Uh, Chris says, any new layouts? Um, no new layouts, but I know that the feature that people keep requesting, which is moving people to different positions like the uh, instead of Dan being in the small position, Dan being in the big one, is it is going to happen. It's going to happen soon. Uh, I know people that were used to us constantly releasing stuff every week are probably wondering where are all the new uh, features, but a huge, <laughs> yeah, a huge amount of time right now is, uh, is making sure everything uh, is stable and works well for you guys. So we're really focused on making sure the, the video quality is top notch and the audio is top notch and that the, the platform continues to perform and work well. So a ton of time is going into that. Luckily, um, investing, we, we have already invested a lot of time in that. So we can start moving on to um, rolling out some of the popular things people are uh, requesting. But that's just some insight in, into what, what some of uh, the uh, long hours are going into. Popcorn Kit. Oh, clicked the wrong one. Hey, uh, hey Jay. Nice to see you from Thailand. Popcorn Kit says, please share how people turn themselves into circles slash bubbles. Yeah, if you just turn off your yeah, there you go. If you just turn off your webcam, um, you'll it'll use an avatar, and if you hover over your tile, you you'll see an option to edit the avatar and change it into. In fact, I I have popcorn right there. That's a <laughs> how lucky a coincidence. Oh, that's that's that. <laughs> yeah, you can choose one just like that, and uh, you'll be good to go. That's cool. <laughs> it's like we planned that. Yeah. Uh, Sed says, um, it'd be nice to have, for Arabic languages, change the direction of the tickers, yes, and the, and the banners as well. I know that's uh, important to important to a lot of people, so it will be addressed at some point. Interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. It uh, it looks like we're just about out of time, but thank you all for uh, for hanging out with us, especially Isabel for being such a good sport. It was, uh, it was awesome to have her on, and we'll see you uh, next week at the same time. Um, and hopefully with some uh, exciting announcements. So thank you all for tuning in. This was episode number 68 of the StreamYard Live uh, Town Hall. Right on. See you next week, everyone. Um.